Hello, uh, my name is Steve Caldwell, and I do some work uh, for the BOEM uh, team uh, on their website to, to support some of their software, the BOEM MIDI Translator software. And I thought I'd spend a few minutes today just to illustrate a uh, simple uh, setup of a, of a new project. So this uh, uh, video is really intended for new users that have never set up a project before, a very quick tutorial. Uh, I'll walk you through some things. I still encourage you to look through the manual. Uh, you can find that uh, when you download the software and you click the help button the manual will open. Uh, the uh, BOEM MIDI translator software can be found at www.boem.com uh, and uh, you can download a free trial version that will run for 20 minutes. Uh, if you'd like to purchase one after that you can uh, uh, you can you can do so uh, and you know it, when I say it runs for 20 minutes it runs for 20 minutes every time you open it so it, basically you can experiment with it as long as you keep it within that uh, 20 minute time uh, time frame, frame parameter uh, but it's fully featured so you know, all the functionality here you can use and test and should work fine for you without further ado uh, I'm going to go ahead and close the boom site here I've started a project here and I'm going to just restart it again and I'm going to do a translator that takes a MIDI message from uh, a one channel uh, a, a MIDI note on message and note off MIDI message from one channel and uh, the translator will actually uh, redirect the input message to a MIDI note on on a separate channel so you can basically put uh, BOEM MIDI translator between the uh, source device and the target device create a translation so that the target device can get what you want. So without uh, further ado, I will uh, just create a new project. Uh, and this says new preset 4. That's the default name. I'm going to just call it uh, test preset. When you open a project, um, uh, it will uh, be an untitled project. And if you click on the, uh, on the project name here over to the right, if you can see here, uh, there's areas where you can give a project description and info and all that type of thing. We won't talk about that too much today. Uh, your input devices, assuming that you've uh, plugged your uh, MIDI devices into your USB port or a cable that runs uh, and converts to your USB port. I uh, will show in the MIDI input section. These are all the devices. You'll notice they're all closed. Uh, and then all the output devices are also shown in this section, both physical devices and virtual devices. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open as an input um, a, a device that I have on my desktop called a Launch Control XL uh, because I know it has the capability to output MIDI notes and I'm going to take the MIDI notes that are coming in from Launch Control XL and I'm going to send them out to a virtual port uh, and I'll use BOEM virtual port 1 out. This could go to um, or get routed by an application on your desktop such as Ableton Live or something like that uh, whatever you want it routed to or it could go to a, a, a soft synthesizer or a, another external synthesizer connected to your laptop uh, so with that, I've defined my input device, and you can define multiple. I've defined my output devices. You'll notice that they now show open, uh, and um, there's a log window that shows how what you're doing here, and I'm going to just clear that. And the first thing I want to do now after I've opened the devices is I want to test to see whether my input device is in fact working before I create a translator. So I'm going to push a button and you can see I'm pressing a, a button that puts a note on message uh, which is note 98 note number 24 uh, with a value of 7f which is a, uh, a velocity value of uh, uh, maximum and then when I release the button it uh, put out a note off message with the same note and the value of 0 so I'm going to create a translator to take that uh, message and translate it to a different channel. Uh, the message that came in came in on channel uh, channel 9 which is an 8 because they number from 0 to uh, to F 
and uh, it's going to go out to channel 1 which will be uh, a 0 when it shows on here. I can also show the, the incoming message in another format by clicking this button here um, although it doesn't show it because I don't have any translators set. So clear that again. I'll add my, tra my first translator. Uh, I'm going to call it note on. Okay, and then I'm going to go over here and capture the MIDI from the note that I'm pushing the button on. So I click this here. When I press the button, it says, okay, there's a note on channel 9 with note 41. I'm going to just grab that and it pulls it over to this section here. And I'm going to close that. And I'm going to do a little bit of editing to it because I want it to translate all notes, not just note 41. So I'm going to change note 41 to any note. I'm going to set the variable to PP and you'll see why I do this later because I'm going to use that same note and send it out a different channel. So I have to capture and save that information somewhere. I'm going to take the velocity here and I'm going to capture any velocity and I'm going to set a local variable QQ uh, to capture that velocity and I'll use that to transcribe that to um, to the output as well. Uh, and then for rules, normally you can do rules to massage that. I could have changed it to a different note, add one to it, that type of thing. I'm not going to do with anything with rules today. Uh, maybe a future uh, recording I'll do that. And then on the outgoing, uh, since it's a note on that I want going out also, I'll create a MIDI message. I'm going to call it note on, just like the incoming message. Uh, but if you remember, I was coming in, the message that I'm sending from my device is on channel 9. I'm going to send this out on channel 1. The note that I'm going to send out is the note I captured coming in, just on a different channel. And the velocity that I'm going to uh, send out is uh, the velocity I captured coming in as well. So now uh, the message coming in is a note on channel 9. I'm setting the PP to the note value and a velocity, a QQ to the uh, velocity value. And I've got to make sure I've done that correctly, set velocity variable. And then going out, I'm going to send that to channel 1. Uh, so I'm going to push the button here. And you can see, uh, as I push it and hold it, it came in on channel 9, velocity 7F, and then you can see the out uh, message going to channels, uh, channel 1 or uh, 9 zero, uh, with the same velocity. If I release the key, however, you can see uh, it is not transcribing that into the, um, the other uh, channel. Uh, that's because I have only translated the note on message. So I'm going to go one step further with a few tweaks. I can also transcribe the note off message to go to the same channel. Uh, so if I come up here to my uh, incoming trigger sections, I can uh, duplicate that preset. I will call this one note off. In the input, I'm going to change this to a note off message. On the output, I will change it to a note off message. Everything else is the same. So now I'm going to clear this. Uh, when I press the button, in comes on channel 9, out goes on channel 8 as I press it. As I release, it comes in on channel 8 or channel 9 and goes out on channel 1. So I've now successfully created my first project that takes a note from uh, channel 9 and transcribes that note on and note off message to uh, channel 1 on output. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, again, you can go to bohm.com slash support. Uh, there is a Q&A section there. You can ask questions, and uh, we can walk you through simple solutions and things of that nature. Uh, my name is Steve Caldwell. I'm on contract with the Bohm team to help on this website, and I'm happy to help. Uh, thank you much for your time. Bye-bye.